In this lesson, we will be able to convert from a liquid volume, like when you're measuring water, to a solid volume. So we normally measure liquid in milliliters or liters. Milliliters because there's less of it. And we measure the volume of a cube by length times width times height. So it would be in centimeter cubed or meter cubed. Okay, so if this is a one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, this is a one times one times one is one centimeter cubed in volume. If you put one milliliter, not one liter, one liter is like half a bottle of soda, the big bottle. So one milliliter into a small cube, it will totally fit, which means these two volumes are equal to each other. So one milliliter of liquid volume is equal to one centimeter cubed of something that is solid. Okay, so what we have here is an equality that will help us convert from a one base unit to a different one, liquid to li liters to meters. Here's an example. If you have 50 centimeter cubed of these little cubes right here, let's say you have 50 of these, how many of these do you have? That's correct. You also have 50 because they're equal to each other. Okay. So the answer is how many milliliters are in 50 centimeter cubed? Well, there are 50 milliliters. Well, how do you do that using dimensional analysis? You write the given 50 centimeter cubed. You write the unknown, which is milliliters. You drop the undesired unit centimeter cubed, which is three dimensional because it's a cube. You put the milliliters on the top also three-dimensional, and they're equal to each other. One milliliters equals one centimeter cubed. So you have that equality, so your answer is 50 milliliters. Okay. Go ahead and pause this video and try the next problem. The issue with this one is that it's in meter cubed, not in not oh, so if you have something in meter cubed and you want to go to milliliters, first you have to convert it to centimeter cubed. So we're going to do 5.00 meter cubed, and you want to convert that to centimeter cubed. Okay, so to do this, you're going to drop the undesired unit, and you're going to go to centimeters. Okay, so a cube has three sides, right? It has the length, the width, and the height. If you do one conversion, you're only doing the length. So one meter, you have to go King Henry died by drinking chocolate, milk, and so on. Meter is a base unit. Centimeter is here. There are 10, 1 E2, 100. That's the same as 100, 100 centimeters in a meter. You just converted one side. Now you have to convert the other side. So you have to do it again. You just converted the width. Now you have to convert the height. One meter, one E2 centimeter equals. Okay, so in terms of the units, you have three-sided object and you converted one side after the other, right? So now you have a three-sided object as well. Pause this video and calculate the answer, please. Okay, so the answer would be five E six. So it would be five times one E two times one E two times one E two equals five E six, okay? Next. For this problem, you're given a huge cube, and they want you to convert it to something that is liquid. So what you must do for this is convert this first to centimeters cubed, so do it three times, then you can convert it to milliliters. Pause the video and write the answer, please. The first step in this problem is to change meter cubed to centimeter cubed 
just like the previous example in example two. So what I did is I changed the meters down here and I went to centimeters just like up here. It's the same exact format, right? I went from meters to centimeters and I had to do that three times. As a result, meter cube cancels with meter cube, meter and meter and meter. Now I have on top centimeter cube. If they wanted centimeter cubed, I would stop, but they want milliliters. Therefore, I have to drop it again and go to milliliters, okay? Now the equality is one little cube will fit one milliliter of water in it. And I do the math and I multiply them. The centimeter cube, three of these will cancel with a centimeter cube down here. And now I have milliliters, so it's 2.5. E to the sixth power. And my new unit is milliliters. Okay, pause the video and try the next problem. Okay, so first I'm going to write the given as one liters, and they want to know how many centimeter cubed equals blank centimeter cubed. So all I have to do is go to milliliters first because I know that it will be the same as the centimeter cube. So I drop liters, go to milliliters. Liters is bigger, so it's a thousand because it's three jumps. The liters will cancel. And now I drop the milliliters again. I go to centimeter cube, one and one. Some people would think, Mrs. Lozano, don't you have to do this three times? I don't because this is already three-dimensional and this is three-dimensional. Okay, so the answer here is one E3 centimeter cubed, or 1,000 is the same number, centimeter cubed. Okay, pause the video while you do the next step, please, the next example. So first, I'm going to circle the given, which is three centimeter cubed, and I'm gonna go to microliters. Okay, so that's the question mark, at the very end, microliters. So my steps are go to milliliters first, then I'm going to go to microliters. So to go to milliliters, I'm going to do one centimeter cube is one milliliter. And then milliliter, so this cancels, milliliter in the bottom, microliter on the top, and I think it's... Go ahead and write the King Henry died, pause the video. Okay, so I just wrote them here. Milliliter is right here, and micro is here. So milli is bigger, put a one. Micro is uh, three jumps, M&Ms, one E3. So now I cancel those, so now I have three. I multiply that across, three E3 microliters.